at first. Parents, students, and faculty come together to discuss a racist filled letter and a disturbing photo with two Strathaven High School students. This is the picture that caused so much controversy last month. Dan Koob is live at the school in Wallingford with what came out of that meeting. Dan? Jess, Yuki, parents left that meeting tonight at Strathaven High School feeling somewhat annoyed, somewhat as if there are a lot of questions that still remain and need answering. But for the school, they brought administrators, local members of the NAACP, and also police to answer and share all of the information that they have as this investigation has now been turned over to the DA's office. Four girls, all students at Strathaven High School, are believed to have had some role in this picture and a hate-filled letter distributed on December 15th in the community. There should be consequences for certain actions for anybody. And, and it would definitely be a different story, I believe, if it was the shoe was on the other foot. Authorities determined the photo depicting two girls wearing KKK style hoods and the letter are unrelated and originated months apart. Our cameras were not allowed into the Strathaven Auditorium, but we did attend and saw hundreds of parents and students fill its chairs. Many wanted a more detailed timeline of how it learned of the posts on social media. Some parents and students told me they were disappointed to find out the district would not have jurisdiction to discipline the students if necessary. That kind of gives a, a loss of hope because it just it makes it seem like nothing's really going to get done about this. And they say it's a pending investigation. And although that may be true, how far that goes is still in question. I felt like uh, everyone, you know, was just pretty much worried about the safety for the girls that did it as far as them getting bullied instead of worrying about the kids who were affected by the whole situation. No questions were asked. Instead, follow-ups were encouraged to be emailed or handed in on paper. Questions and concerns are still uh, up in the air and they weren't too clear about, you know, um, what's going to be the next step of preventing this from happening. but. Uh, like I said, it's just a good, at least it's a good first step. I did speak to a father who had one of these letters pinned to his home. He didn't want to go on camera, but he did say he believes the situation has been overblown. He received an apology from the girls involved and believes we should all move on, that this was a mistake by teenagers who should not be judged for it for the rest of their lives. Live outside Strathaven High School, Dan Koob, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Dan, thanks. Now